I am Kate O'Connor, stylist, founder of Dancing and Dessert, and your resident party expert. And today you are watching the party edit. Vendor Q and A. special guest with us today. It is Brett from Brett Matthew John Flowers and he is talking to us about how to find the right florist for you as well as what inspires his work and what inspires his daily life. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Of course. Um, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Mm -hmm. So we have an imaginary couple and they are at the beginning of their planning process. Where and when should they start looking for a florist? Straight away. Okay. <laughs> Want to start looking for your florist straight away? Yeah. And Instagram is the great place to start. Interesting. You really want to be scrolling through, checking out all your different inspiration. With Instagram, should they be like searching hashtags or just like Melbourne vendors? Hashtags is a really great way to start. Okay. And also finding someone and their style that you really like and checking out their follow list so you can find other people that are sort of very similar in taste. Okay. What about online directories? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Can be really great. However, you really want to hone in on your style before you okay. start sifting through larger groups of... Right, because there's so many options that can be really overwhelming. They found you, mm -hmm. what happens next? So in the initial consultation, it's really just a catch up and a get together. Oh, so we're cool. sort of learning about what their vision is for the day, what they want to bring us, what they want us to bring to the table. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Um, do you have any projects on at the moment that you're really excited about? There's a few really exciting projects coming at the yeah. end of the year. Uh, one of them we're working together on, which Yay. is very exciting. Uh, so that is for Kathy and Henry. Yes, it yeah, is. It's a beautiful yeah. venue as well. So that'll be it's good fun. It's going to be beautiful. By the way, everyone watching, all the flowers here today are done by Brett and they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, so we have obviously a wedding that's coming up this year. Mm -hmm. Do you foresee any major trends happening in 2018? Mm -hmm. I feel like roses uh, were definitely a big trend this year. I feel like that's definitely going to continue into next year. Yeah. Uh, I feel like we're definitely moving away from tropicals and it's yeah, definitely okay. coming into sort of a more loose, loose sort of style. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, moving sort of more towards that kind of cottagey, but still kind of luxe style. Yeah, totally. And um, do you see any colours being particularly popular? I feel like nude is very in at the moment. Ooh, and I feel like a nude is. will continue. Yes. Nudes like, and golds. Nudes, golds, but also like that khaki green as yes. well. Yes, I feel like olive is definitely another big colour which is totally. coming through at the moment. Amazing. Um, do you have any advice to brides or grooms, um, couples who are kind of at the beginning of the process mm -hmm. and they're probably, I don't know, maybe a little bit overwhelmed because there's so much inspiration out there, right? Of course. So I feel like it's kind of hard to, to get a direction. Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice for brides and grooms who are maybe at that point in the process? I think it's really important to kind of take a look at yourself as a couple and work out yeah. who you guys are as a couple yeah. and what you guys are really wanting to say on the day. So that's pulling inspiration from your own personal experiences. Yeah. Um, personal flowers are kind of have special meanings to mm -hmm. you um, and then having sort of a style that's derived from that as okay. opposed to something which is a bit more forced and something that's just on trend which probably isn't really what you're looking for in the end right how like what percentage of a couple's budget should they mm -hmm. put aside for flowers I think it all really depends on what they're going for for the yep. day. Okay. I think once you find your venue, that's when you really need to start thinking about budget. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really great to come to the florist with your idea of what you want and also with your venue. So we can kind of travel so and sort of allocate your budget to certain areas that's going to work for you. So that kind of mandatory 10% of flowers doesn't really... No, never right. kind of really fits. And I feel like nobody really knows the cost of flowers either. Nobody thinks about <sighs> sort of... <laughs> the early mornings and the markets and everything that yeah. goes into it so you really need to find the florist who's got the right quote for you right and i yeah. also think it just depends on what the couple want to prioritize of as well course. on their day like you know for a lot of couples flowers are a really big deal mm -hmm. but for others you know maybe it's not maybe it's that chandelier of or course. maybe it's those disco balls <laughs> whatever whatever, you're, whatever into. you're into guys whatever you're into uh, Valentine's Day is coming up as well. We've got yes. big plans for that with a bit okay. of rebranding. So yeah, lots happening in the new year. What should someone get someone for Valentine's Day? I feel like I've never gotten like beautiful a really bunch good of, Valentine's beautiful Day. Beautiful bunch of flowers. Don't Duh. go for roses. Keep go for something stupid. which is like specifically tailored to them. They'll okay. love it. Okay, awesome. All right, so we're coming up to the end of our interview, mm -hmm. which means one thing and one thing only. Yes. Lightning round of questions. Sounds good. Don't think, just answer. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> 
Favorite flower? Oh, gardenia. Least favorite flower? Uh, Singapore orchids. Best date spot in Melbourne? Anywhere with coffee, that's really quiet. Okay. Uh, favorite trends for 2018? Uh, blown out roses. Best cocktail? Cosmopolitan. Uh, awesome decor choice for a castle. Uh, pink. <laughs> Anything pink. Anything pink. I like that. I actually like mixing um, aesthetics. So doing like mm -hmm. something super traditional. Color with something super Yeah, color clashing. Yeah. Last but not least, <clears throat> what is your go-to party dance move? Anything that is related to the Spice Girls. You have to show me. <gasps> I'm not gonna sing it for you, but yeah. <laughs> I will sing it for girls. you. Don't st no, how does it go? <laughs> I forget. What is it? Stop, Stop right now. now. Thank you very much. I need, need somebody, somebody with a human yeah, touch. Yeah, that's that. You got it. Hey, you. Always on the run, got it. I should start now. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brett, Matthew, Thank John. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, of course, any time. Uh, if you would like to see more of Brett's amazing work, please head on over to his website. The link is in the description below. For more helpful videos, please subscribe to our channel or can't find what you're looking for, go over to Dancing and Desserts blog where you will find more amazing content and remember to sign up to our email so you can be the first to receive our pro tips and tricks on how you too can plan the best damn party you'll ever attend.